In this video, I want to discuss some strategies and tips for speaking for special occasions. So there are a variety of reasons that we speak for special occasions, a variety of goals that we have when we're, when we're speaking on these special occasions. As you can see here, some of them include to celebrate, to give thanks, to, to mark important occurrences, to honor key figures, to commemorate, to inspire, to entertain. But th So there are a variety of reasons that we may be giving these speeches. It's important that we identify which of these would be our goals, and, and that will help us shape the type of language that we use, and, and in the end, what kind of strategy, strategies we might use. So, but, uh, so special occasion speeches take place for a variety of reasons, so we need to, to have a firm grasp on what the reason is for the speech that we're going to give, and prepare and plan accordingly. There are really two strategies and, and broad strategies that we use in speaking for special occasions. Um, the first is to magnify, and the, the purpose here is to, uh, as you can see, to amplify emotion, exceed expectations, promote positivity and goodwill, and build the audience's admiration and appreciation toward the subject. So we're really just trying to magnify this idea or this person um, and and just build them up and really uh, put the focus on, on this, this person, this event, this whatever it is we're talking about or whoever it is we're talking about, bringing all this attention to them and building them up in as large a way as possible, just trying to magnify that person, their achievements, or that, that, that event and the importance of that occasion. And so um, bringing a greater magnification to the understanding of, of why we're there. So magnification is the first strategy that we might use. The other is uh, identify. So sometimes we, we give special occasion speeches in order to identify, and, and we use this strategy um, to build famili familiarity and closeness, to create a sense of community, uh, and really just kind of bring people together. And so in that case, we would be working specifically to identify strongly with that audience and help connect them to that idea, that person, those things, and, and really build that, that bridge between what we're talking about and the people in the audience there. So just a few tips for speaking on, <clears throat> on special occasions. Um, first of all, keep it short. Special occasion speeches typically are not intended to be really long, extended um, presentations, so uh, so just keep it as short as possible. Say what you need to say, but in the end, uh, it's it's best to just keep it as short as possible for these types of speeches. Secondly, acknowledge the obvious. You don't need to, to hide your purpose uh, you know, under a basket or whatever. We need to get it out there in the open. If we're there because somebody has passed away, then let's acknowledge their passing. If we're there to pay tribute to a person, then let's bring that right up front at the beginning. This is what we're here for. Uh, acknowledge the obvious and, and get it right out in the open as, as soon as possible. Next, remember in these speeches, it's not about you. Special occasion speeches are not about you. You're, you're probably not there to pay tribute to yourself. You're there to honor someone, something, some event that's had um, some impact on people. And so uh, don't bring the focus back around to you. Keep the focus on what you're there to talk about. It's not about you. Uh, second, and next, stay positive. Uh, it's important even, even in times when we're talking about difficult uh, topics that we can find some positivity there. We can find some light in a dark topic. If we're if we're you know giving a speech and uh, first an occasion about someone's passing, we can we can put that person in a positive light. We can we can talk about their positive attributes and the things that they accomplished and so forth. If we're even if we're speaking on the occasion of a tragedy, we can find some some positive things that came out of that tragedy. We can acknowledge the sadness of that tragedy, but at the same time we can stay positive by focusing on um, the positives, uh, you know, some some things that grew out of that tragedy that may have impacted people positively. So as much as possible you want to stay positive in special occasion speeches. You can use humor in these speeches, even even in some of the sadder topics, but do so carefully. Uh, remember that if people are there to, to honor someone, then they may not want it all to be light and fluffy, but, but it's okay to use humor to, to kind of uh, de-stress the situation a little bit and to just kind of bring a little light into the topic, but but do so carefully. Uh, next, sincere, confident vocal and physical delivery is essential in these types of speeches. You have to be sincere about what you're saying. It, 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 if you're going to connect with the audience emotionally and, and, uh, and identify with them or magnify that other person, your delivery and your vocal presence have to be um, confident and they have to be sincere. And then finally, be creative and eloquent with your language. In some speeches, like an informative speech, your language should be pretty straightforward and pretty, pretty clear-cut and not a lot of frills. But in special occasion speeches, this is your opportunity to really break out all of the, 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 the uh, different linguistic devices that you, can, that you can put in there. Not that you have to use them all, but, uh, but 
this is your chance to use those that are appropriate for that occasion use some alliteration and simile and metaphor and antithesis and, and uh, parallel word structure those types of things can really enhance uh, a special occasion speech and you can break out all your fancy vocabulary words here and, and use a lot of a lot more flowery language um, in a special occasion speech than you would in say an informative speech or an instructional speech of some type so this is your chance to really uh, get creative with with the language use so, those are just a few tips and strategies for speaking for special occasions. If you have questions, uh, and uh, I'm happy to answer those via email, feel free to shoot me an email. And uh, if you have questions or you need feedback on the special occasion speech that you're preparing, I'd be happy to discuss those with you. In the meantime, happy communicating.